Well, Cleo Parker Robinson Dance is performing a world premiere this weekend. It is an amazing collaboration that promotes healing through the arts. And joining me now is Denver treasure, Cleo Parker Robinson. Cleo, thank you for being with us. Wonderful to be here. Thank, thank you. Fabulous to have you. And Adonis Rose, he's the artistic director of the New Orleans Jazz Orchestra. Thank, Thank you so you much for, for being me. here. Thank yeah. you. Good to be here. Yeah, so Cleo, okay, Sacred Spaces addresses mm -hmm. violence against churches. Mm -hmm. Why that topic? Well, you know, um, we've been doing pieces that are about social justice for a long time, but this one is kind of close to our hearts because we're in the shorter AME church, and it was burnt by the Klan in, nine, well, in the 20s, 1925. But this, these churches that we're, we're performing uh, about are most recent, 2019, in Opelousas, Louisiana. And so these three churches were, were most recently in the news. And I think that it was important that we really recognize that these kinds of things are still happening in our country. Very powerful. And Adonis, uh, you composed the music for this project. What mm -hmm. can audiences expect when they come and watch yeah. it? Yeah, well, they can, they can expect to hear a musical rendition of, of the story and what actually happened when the churches were burned. Mm. Uh, and then they can see uh, the musical work humanized by the Cleo Parker Robinson Dance Company and the Dance So it's a beautiful piece of work. How long have you been working on this, too? Well, the idea came to us uh, a couple of years ago, but it was really right around the pandemic um, uh, from Jackie Lyle in Lafayette, and she was a presenter there. So we intend to bring uh, this work that will be premiered this weekend to Lafayette and to New Orleans, where, of course, Adonis is the, the, the superstar. Uh, mm -hmm. All over the world, <laughs> but right there for Orleans, sure. Right? Yeah, 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 right there in New Orleans. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it will tour after this. So we want to birth it right here. Absolutely. And Cleo, uh, the choreography is modern ballet. So how did that yes, all come together, yes, too? Yes. Well, I, I was inspired by, first of all, the story, the idea, um, because sacred spaces can be anything. They can be, um, of course, our black churches, mm -hmm. which has been historic, but it can also be mosques and, and, and synagogues, and, and it can be um, sacred ground uh, by indigenous people, but it could also be our own bodies. The sacred space is our bodies. So yeah. the, the pieces that are being done that night are, have a range, but this work is just extraordinary because he, he really created a storyline for me as a, as a choreographer. I had something to work with right then. So I followed the storyline mm -hmm. um, and it was really pretty powerful. We're going to end with a sense of healing and resolution, mm. which we have to do for communities that have experienced these kinds of atrocities. Mm -hmm. And uh, last question here. What do you hope that audiences get out of this? What do you hope the experience brings them? You said healing. Mm -hmm. um, what do you hope they get out of all this? Awareness, mm -hmm. just awareness mm -hmm. that we have a lot of violence against, against sacred spaces and we can mm -hmm. start the healing process through the arts. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think they can get that out of it mm -hmm. to start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. It's healing just to come together. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, the act itself of us having something that is uh, that is real to people right now. Uh, we were in their community with the ministers and their families, and we could mm. feel the pain that they still have, and uh, to try to rebuild. So it's helping the community rebuild, make that awareness there, but also in our own communities, um, be aware that 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 people have to um, come together in a place of building and not destroying. I have to ask you, I know my last question, I said that was my last question, but <laughs> how are you feeling ahead of the big night, too? Yeah. I'm excited. I'm this, yeah. this is my I'm first excited. time composing for dance. Yeah. So I've been following Miss Cleo's lead. She's been teaching me how to do it. So yeah. I'm excited about the process. The We're process following each other's leads. I'm following him. <laughs> well, I'm I'm thrilled. You know, we've we haven't been. I mean, we've been at the LA a number of years, um, uh, opening many of our spaces in in uh, Denver and working with the symphony, Carver the Symphony Orchestra, and so on. But to have the New Orleans jazz orchestra here that we are producing is extraordinary and I just hope everybody comes and um, because it, it's it's a historic moment mm -hmm. we've never done that before even in our 52 years of performing all over the world I'm glad I get to be the this. first yeah we're really we have not done this 
So I'm, I'm, ec I'm ecstatic. I think it's really wonderful. And that um, we have a surprise for everybody at the end. I was going to talk about it right. now. Mm -hmm. But I think they have to come and know exactly how we're going to end it because it's a powerful subject, a very um, emotional and spiritual experience. But we're bringing the audience up. And it's going to be amazing. I don't think um, the Ellie has, has ever experienced what we're going to do. Mm. Mm -hmm. Adonis, are you excited to bring a little bit of Louisiana here to Colorado? Always, always, oh, yeah. Always, yeah. 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 And we're going to hang around town. We're going to go and see some of the, eat at the restaurants, yeah. and go to the jazz clubs. Yeah. So the community will know that the jazz orchestra is in town. So that's going to be wonderful. And, and we're, we're just thrilled. We're, mm. we're and excited that you'll be joining us on Saturday yeah. night for the opening. Oh, great. Great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 We'll yeah. have a, a great reception. And, um, you know, we have a great history of jazz here mm -hmm. in Denver as well. I was born in Denver. And uh, I, I, we recall that uh, Charlie, Charlie Burrell, the great bass player, brought me home from the hospital. My father and mother were musicians. My father was a jazz musician. My mother, classical musician. So they're um, our ancestors right now. But I think, I think we have a lot of ancestors that will be lifting, <laughs> oh, us be up, yeah. lifting us up. I know when I was at your studio, you talked about how crucial and exciting it was that you, it was right in the heart of Five Points oh, there, too. absolutely. We yeah. love it. Yeah. Yeah, so our, where we're rehearsing right here today is in our theater. at the. It was a historic shorter AME church, mm -hmm. but we've been in that space 35 years, and now we're, we're rebuilding that and building the new building. And I mean, that will all happen. We'll talk to you about that. Yeah. After we do another sacred time. spaces, we're creating another sacred space. All right. Cleo, thank you. Adonis, thank, thank you. you. And uh, Sacred Spaces debuts at the Ellie Hawkins Opera House this Saturday and Sunday.